With alarming frequency, governments are presenting data and technology as the solutions to complex socio-economic, legal and political problems. This so-called revolution is seen as similar to the Industrial Revolution, but instead of coal and oil, there's data. The data revolution is a term promoted by a UN high-level panel that advised on the creation of the Sustainable Development Goals. This high-level panel emphasized the need for the data revolution. They called for better data and statistics. Birth registrations and censuses are essential to good administration and governance. But in the excitement of the data revolution, it becomes about collecting more data for more purposes. This is not just about governments. International agencies, civil society organizations, and the private sector should be involved. Yet it doesn't mention the individual, upon whose data this revolution will turn, and whose lives will be transformed for better or for worse. This data revolution will rely on existing and new sources of data. This means generating new data, collecting it, processing it, and sharing it. This is not inherently problematic, but as with all revolutions, they're very hard to contain to their original purpose. Others have jumped on the bandwagon of the data revolution. State institutions adopted the data revolution as the solution to their intractable problems. They even claim that previous failures were all because they didn't have enough data. So they do what is under their control, expand their data gathering powers. The private sector sees it as a gold mine. They're keen to develop systems that would generate massive amounts of data with an added bonus of being able to use that data themselves. Other non-state actors in the development field see the data revolution as the missing pieces of their puzzle. The drive behind their intentions is well-meaning. Years later, with millions spent and capabilities spreading, we must look beyond the rhetoric of the data revolution and refocus on what this should really be about, protecting the individual human being.